What is going on guys welcome back to another video I hope you are having an amazing day and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can install One UI Beta 1 on any kind of Galaxy S9, S9 Plus whether it is Exynos or Snapdragon. Now I'm just going to demonstrate a beautiful article made by XDA and how it's made so much easier to just use this closed beta on your Galaxy S9 Plus without rooting your device. And then again I have been using this for almost more than one week over here and I have to say I'm quite getting used to it but the thought of it using it as a daily driver on my Note 9 is just not sinking in. Again, many of you guys actually thought I was just ranting over cause it's a newer topic. No guys, I'm literally pissed off that the apps open at the half of the screen. I know it's much more easier, but I'm not saying that it should be completely removed. All I'm saying is the apps could normally start like this. And if I'm using with one hand, I can usually just swipe once and again, connections, yeah. I can just swipe once. The apps don't need to be started at the half of the screen. It looks so weird and ugly. So I hope you guys understand that. And this is a newer build than compared to the last one. So this shows both of the IMEA slots and stuff. It's a bit different one. Again, the camera is fixed over here. So for example, the build that I showed you guys was uh, having an issue with live focus. Like the text was here, but this yellow thingy was on the left. So yeah. Quite a lot of things have been changed or fixed over here. So the minimum requirements over here are your phone charged to the 100% and a bit of a brain in flashing your phone. So let's just get started. Hop onto your PC. So as you can see, we are onto their website and here you go, Exynos models. So Galaxy S9 over here. Scrolling down, you will find Galaxy S9 Plus. Again, the Exynos version. This is what we are going to use in this video because mine is a SMG 965FD, the Indian model. Then scrolling down, you have Snapdragon Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus Snapdragon. So let's just scroll above. And then you have to just download these three files, the Odin, the OT update and the firmware and the voltage is actually working on mine. I can't actually guarantee about the inner voltage in India such as for example IDEA, Airtel and stuff but Geo fully works. Just keep them on the desktop and extract the first one which would be the firmware. As you can see I have extracted it then open it and the first file would be the AP which is the biggest one. Just rename it and remove dot md5 after it this will save a lot of time of you because it has to check its hashes and if you have a ported as PC it would take like half an hour. So let's just open Odin, grab your phone, unlock it, press the power button, power off, then hold down power, Bixby and volume down at the same time. There you go. We are in the Odin mode, volume up for continue and just connect the phone to the PC. As you can see, the phone has been detected. Just select AP, open BL for bootloader, CP and CSC. Now I would recommend to use the normal CSC over here for the maximum stability as the home CSC wouldn't actually replace the modem files but I would surely recommend just for the beta sake just install it and hit start. This will flash the firmware. Now once the phone finally is done flashing let it install the system update. Once it starts booting up again hold down the same combination let it with power off then hold on your power Bixby and volume up to enter the recovery just like this. And then from here, there would be two methods. Now both are extremely simple and same, but one would take a whole lot of time and there are chances of failure and the another one is completely safe, but you will need a SD card for it. Now for the first method that I'm going to show you, which will probably fail is the ADB one. Now this doesn't need any kind of SD card and stuff. You have to just open it, open CMD over here and type in ADB side load. Hit space and just drag the OTA file over here. And then you have to just go to your phone, use volume buttons for navigation and select the third option, which would be the apply update from ADB. Now the problem over here is using this option. Yeah, you don't need any kind of memory card and stuff to install the update. But last time that I checked, patching system via USB is not the greatest idea. It takes a whole lot of time and it could actually fail and break your phone cause of the USB being a loose or something. So I don't actually recommend this method at all. But if you want to try it, you have to just select the third option, hit enter over there and it will install the one UI update. But you are just going to be a bit safer over here and install it via SD card. Just right over there. This is extremely delicate. I don't know why like even 6000 rupees Xiaomi's have a metal SIM card tray. I don't know what's wrong with Samsung. But basically now you have to just select apply update from SD card which would be the fourth option. Just select it by the power button. Again, use the volume rocker for choosing the zip, update zip, hit the power button. Now this will take again half an hour. I mean, both of the methods are extremely slow, but still it will guarantee that you install one UI without root. And we are back roughly after seven to eight minutes. And as soon as the installation gets successfully completed, you will be greeted with this message, encryption failed. Then you have to just again reset and a little message to my American viewers. I know my accent is heavy to understand, but just bear with me. 
I didn't get chance to go to any kind of higher convent school. This is the max that I can do for you guys and hope you guys like it. Yeah. Again, it's booting now, so it will take around five to three minutes. And the phone has been booted up in like almost three minutes. So let's just set it up quickly without doing the security stuff. And there you go. Take a look around. This is the one UI. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it on how you can install one UI beta one on your Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus Snapdragon or Exynos, doesn't matter. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe. Please drop a like and see you guys in the next one. Peace.